Hey, if you'd like YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Dead Man's Chest. Okay, I just thought I'd show you this little bit of trim that I've got to cover the gap that I had in the back of the screen there. The gap was obviously there because I needed room for cables and whatnot to come out. So I've tidied all that up now and this has totally made that area safe. It's also raised the, the centre piece up now so it doesn't bow in the middle anymore. Everything is nice and flush and really nice and clean looking. So, yep, yeah, really pleased with that. Okay, this week's featured comment of the week goes to Fishmad. Massive shout out to you, fella. Love your aquascaping, bro. Keep up the good work and plan on literally copying your design. Lol, I like it that much. Well, that's the biggest compliment a man can ever receive. The fact that someone's actually wanting to copy my design. I take that as a huge compliment. And uh, thanks very much. And I wish you the very best with your build. And if you would like to be featured in the next featured week, um, every video that I do, I'm going to make someone's comment feature of the week and uh, all you've got to do is leave a comment and uh, who knows the next one could be you right it's time to get rid of this mess and um, absolutely sick of it I can't stand the sight of this ugly looking container sitting at the side of my tank anymore so it's time to get rid of this and get something else in place and I've got an idea right so my idea is we've got these boxes right and we use these for like just lounging about storing stuff and um, we can kick them in front of the sofa put our feet up watch a movie and um, stuff like that I also use them for standing on to, to get inside my fish tank and um, so yeah I mean just knew it was in there, just magazines and that. Eh? So, my idea is we've got three of them. So, we've got two here, and we'll have another one over here. And we'll have this one here just because the dog's got a habit of kicking the door open <laughs> when he barges through. And I don't want the door can swinging past the tank all the time and scaring the fish. Plus, it acts as a good doorstop. But, my idea is I'm going to get a tank. I'll either build a tank or I'll get a tank to fit inside of this. And that's going to be my auto top off because this box sits here anyway, and it doesn't. It's not as ugly looking as this thing, which is like totally ugly. And by getting a tongue inside this box, we'll just get two birds with one stone sort of thing. So we should sort out the wee problem I've got. Okay, I went hunting. Um, I decided I'll just buy a cheap little tropical fish tank with a lid. Um, I managed to get this for an absolute bargain. It holds 30 litres of water, which is perfect. I mean, all right, it's 20 litres less than what I've got, but what I've got just now is like really overkill. I mean, I fill that thing up and it lasts me like three and a half weeks or something. So, I mean, even this is going to last me a good couple of weeks anyway. So it'll be absolutely perfect. Um, I, took, I took a rough me a measurement guide uh, on the cube box and hopefully if this thing's going to fit inside but yeah really happy with it it's got a nice lid fits on there and it's got a couple of bits of the corners are cut out so perfect for the pump and everything to go in from all the top off and it should work really really well um, and I think this tank to be honest I think it is a little bit smaller than the cube box that I've got um, which I have done intentionally because I didn't want to actually fill the whole box because as you know the dog's got a habit of hitting the door and um, so the door might bang against it so I want a bit of padding. Right, moment of truth, let's test it out and um, hopefully it's going to fit. I'm um, pretty sure it will because I did make sure it was a wee bit smaller than the, the actual box even though I never measured it, I kind of guessed it by eye but nah that's perfect, really happy with that. like a glove as they say so down the sides because I, as I previously mentioned with the, the dog and the door and obviously my son sometimes barging through the kitchen and 
the door flying against uh, that box I'm going to stick some of this polystyrene down the side and this will just give it just a little bit of padding and uh, just to guarantee that the, the tank doesn't actually get cracked again like if somebody comes fleeing through or the dog comes flying through the door which he does noon again <laughs> he's a Staffordshire bull terrier so <laughs> say no more <laughs> Right, so that'll do. Um, I think that'll work out pretty good. I might add another piece just to stick on b above one of this on the side where the door actually has contact. But, yep, I think that's going to work out really well. So I'll just get the lid on um, and we'll get this put into position. And then it's time to tackle sorting out all the wiring and nothing with the auto top off and get it all re-plumbed up. Right, I'll go and get this shifted the new. Okie dokie, so that's our back in position. And uh, <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's always there, so we're used to it in the house. Um, and I also use this to stand on. Uh, when I came doing anything on that side of the tank, I stand on top of it. And I can still stand on top of it, it's perfectly fine. So, yep, jobs are good in. Really happy with that. Now, just to go and tackle the bit I'm not really looking forward to, but hey ho, let's get on with it. Right, so trying to sort out this mess, I've screwed in the the top off cable at the back here, and I've got the bit of pipe going through my overflow here, and I've tried to get it as low to the water, close to the water as I can, because before it was on the front here, and it was quite high and every time it was on um, topping up the water would cause a heap of bubbles and then it was just calling all these, causing all these micro bubbles in the display so to avoid that I've got it as close to the water aiming at the back wall as uh, away from the return pump right so I've got all the, the cables in place now um, let's just get this lid on and quick test to see if the, the top of this thing is actually going to work with this cables being in the road. Perfect. Job done. Happy with that. Right, that's me got the controller secured up against the wall, away from the, the tank now, so that's fine. Uh, it's now lying in the front of the blooming hang, looking like an eyesore. So that's nice and tidy. That's all ready to go. So now it's just a case of switching this bad boy on hopefully hopefully everything works again um, right let's go test it right I've added all the the water from my previous container into here so that's it the tank full again uh, with the lime water so I'll just get this wee lid on Right, time to test it with the door. Perfect. I've added another little bit of polystyrene just for that side, just to get a wee bit of extra protection. Actually, I think I'll just shift it closer to the corner. Like so. Magic. Right, and got spot on. Okay, what a difference. That's the, the container gone. Next job I'll be tackling is the electrics, but that can wait. Um, but, yep, so that's my auto top off. Everything's all wired up, ready to go, so I'll just switch it on. And we'll go and check just to make sure everything's working okay. So, hopefully. take a while before it gets proper flow going through it. Oh well, that's fine, it's working as it should. Perfect. I'll just check the, the box, it should be at normal. Yep, that's at level. 
right where we want it. Magic. Jobs are good in. Oh well, that's my auto top off uh, container eliminated and the new auto top off tank in place. So that's tidied up quite a, quite a lot. So really happy with that. And I'll just have a quick look in here, just make sure everything's alright. And yeah, perfect. Job done. Okay, well that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, just like to say thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.